Why in one? Male secure, bitten by the dog. Male secure, bitten by the dog, well done. Officer, stay well. Yes, yes, no injuries for officers. Male secure in cuffs. I really appreciate you joining me again today and this is a follow-up to a story that we initially covered last year when a man that had recently been released from prison on licence went on the run after he kidnapped and attacked a woman and then went on to attack several other people during that time as well. On the 29th of April, Lee Martin was jailed for 18 years for a string of offences, 19 offences he was convicted of as a whole. The hunt for Martin started on the 5th of September last year. This was hours after he was released from prison and he kidnapped and stabbed a woman that he knew. And this was in a cemetery in the Solihull area and then he stole her car. Police believe that he sneaked into the unlocked vehicle while she was visiting a family grave. Luckily she managed to escape and her physical injuries didn't threaten her life. At this point Lee was aware the police were looking for him and he went on the run. Don't you don't send me my phone. I'm I'm all in the paper and that, I swear to God, I will f you, I will slake you somewhere, I will wait for you and I will absolutely f mess with you. I don't give a f about where you are, bro. I just know that when you come home, you ain't got nothing to come back to. Listen to me. At some point tonight, I'm going to send somebody to do something to not you, to someone you love, yeah? And you're going to send me my phone, otherwise I'll do it again and again and again. On the 8th of September, three days after the kidnapping, a woman was parking her car in Kings Heath at around midday. She was heavily pregnant and she was rushing to a class. It was said in court she was struggling to park her car and Lee Martin asked her if she needed help and he offered to jump in and park it for her. She refused to do this but then she felt pressured, she said in court, and also intimidated and there was nobody there to help her so she got out of the car and Martin stole it. The victim then approached community support officers who were patrolling nearby and the car was later found four days later abandoned. On the 10th of September around midday, another woman was parking her car in Asda on Barnes Hill in the Willie Castle area. Martin approached her and asked her for money. She opened the car door and he pulled out a knife that was poking out of his sleeve. He told the woman that he was known to the police and wanted by Crime Watch. She used the horn of her car to try to attract attention and he told her that he'd stab her, pulled her out the car by her hair and stole the Nissan Qashqai. Later the same day at 5.50pm, Martin walked into a house in Stonebrook Way. This was literally 100 yards away from Asda. So the fact that the police had that whole area apparently on lockdown, but he was able to drive only 100 yards away and get access to a house. He asked the person whose home it was if he could stay there and they fought with him to get him out of the house. He jumped out of an upstairs window and the police said they knew it was Martin because he fitted the description and he was wearing the same clothes that he'd done in all of the other previous incidents. Even after this rampage, he still hadn't stopped. On the 11th of September at 5.20, a woman was with her daughter in Aston University and she got lost driving round the nearby campus. She pulled her course over on Lionel Street in the city centre near to the Shakespeare pub. Martin put his head through her open window and asked if she could take him somewhere and she said no. He then opened the car door and pulled out a knife. The woman offered him money and to get him a taxi, but he took the money and also the car. Bar staff in a restaurant nearby recognised Martin from the warnings that are posted on social media. There was also a £3,000 reward by Crime Stoppers at this time. Two days later at 10 to 4 on the 13th of September, CCTV showed Martin stealing a pickup truck from a scrapyard on Autumn Road. Two hours later, people on Woodfield Crescent used their WhatsApp group to alert neighbours that a man with a knife was running through gardens and climbing on top of roofs. CCTV was included in the message and one of the group saw the images later and recognised it was Lee Martin. At around 9.30 the same night, a woman was in a Vauxhall Corsa on Shepherd's Gardens when Lee opened the door, repeatedly hit her over the head with a bottle of cider and stole the car and handbag. Around lunchtime the next day, so this is the third robbery of a woman at around lunchtime in a row. This victim was driving a Kia Nero car on Winchester Road and she allowed Lee Martin to cross over the road and he then asked her for directions and punched her in the face and grabbed the keys from the ignition. Neighbours heard the victim's screams and came to help and Martin rode off on a bike. 
Around an hour later on Thornbury Road, a man got out of his Peugeot to move a cone that Martin had put in the road, and the two men began to fight, and Martin used a knife and slashed him, and then escaped over a wall to a nearby school. So I feel like this timeline definitely highlights exactly how long he was on the run and exactly how much attention he was drawing to himself, even going into nearby schools with knives after attacking people. Lee Martin was arrested on the 14th of September 2021. You inside the bridge yet? Come on now, we're out in the air! Shut yourself up! Mate, don't go inside! Clark Street and off the street. Subject is believed to be Lee Martin, currently whiskey mic time two for recall to prison and serious assault. Where's the guy? Where's the guy? Right, get the stick. There's a third out here. Get back there on that way. Get back around that way. Get that way. First right, right, right. Get him, get him! Get him! Get him! And he was charged with four robberies, four counts of possession of a knife, assault, common assault, assault with intent to rob, aggravated vehicle taking, property damage, criminal damage, and also attempted robbery. He appeared at Birmingham Crown Court on the 3rd of November and pled guilty to all charges, but not guilty to kidnap and also wounded in relation to the first incident. Martin was found guilty of kidnap and wounding and the police said this was one of the most complicated cases that they'd ever dealt with in the force's history. This was because he preyed on vulnerable people and also bullied his way into people's homes and overpowered them due to their vulnerabilities. Except for his first victim, the rest of them were completely random and this definitely makes it harder for the police to be able to link it together to find a clear motive and this would also add to how long it took for them to actually locate him. It's a big reminder that everybody should remember to lock your car doors if you pull up somewhere, even no matter where you are, outside the shop, outside the school, outside your home, make sure that you're aware of your surroundings and also how much this could prevent an incident like this occurring. So I really appreciate you joining me today and I really want to hear what people have to say on this story. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.